Hey, what's up everybody? This is Etho and welcome back to another episode of Terraforma Craft Guys. Uh, I was about to do some gardening here and I realized <laughs> I am fully geared up, combat ready. These vegetables are not going to know what hit them. Any slugs in the garden, I'll take them down. You just watch out. <laughs> uh, it is nighttime though, I'll probably get zombies. So yeah, our first first crops of the year are ready here, which is awesome. It is now, where are we at? Early summer, 7th of June. Time just flies like crazy now when I play this. The first year, it seemed to go so slow. And then winter seemed to last forever. And now it's like, it just goes so quick. So quick. So much stuff to do all the time. Um, so I got uh, carrots here. I don't think our cabbage is ready. No. I can't remember what this is. It might be rice. <gasps> oh, snap. I think the onions are ready. Yep. Excellent. Oh, I've wanted onions for so long. <laughs> so glad they're finally ready. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, and let's go over here. This is an important one. Jute. I hope our jute is ready. That's what we use to make rope, and I have absolutely no rope right now. Um, there's, like, the horses over there I was never able to get because I, I didn't have any rope to bring them back. Oh, it's not ready. Are you serious? Come on, that's huge. This is like taller than me. Huh? It's got to be ready. I guess it's not ready. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to finish uh, my extreme gardening here and I'll be back in a little bit. Man, I just like fought a war here. <laughs> There's arrows and javelins all over the ground. These guys are giving me trouble. This is a really tough one. He's got that copper javelin. He's down. One left. Alright, I think we're good. Check it out, guys. The big cube of trees has grown. Oh, man. I've been looking forward to cutting this thing down. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll head on top and just check it out. Let's see if we can do this. Here, let's break the leaves. I want to try to get as many saplings out of it as I can, too, before we chop it down. But yeah, this is going to be great. We're going to get lots of charcoal. Alright, that's the top. Okay, one axe might not even be enough to chop the whole thing down. I'm not sure. And we'll use the scythe. Ladders. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Uh huh. It looks like they all grew. Don't see any holes. This is dangerous up here, though. <laughs> if I fall down a hole or something, if one of the trees didn't grow. Oh man. Here, let's do this. Oh. Yeah, I think it's ready for harvest. It looks good. Ooh, that tree just about killed me. <gasps> oh no. The trees are growing when I'm in here. This is this is getting scary. Uh some of them popped off in the middle. And they're not all fully grown in the middle either. So we might just give it a little bit longer to finish up. Whoa. I don't even know what just happened there. <laughs> it was right next to me, though. Okay, guys. So here we go. I'm ready to chop this sucker down. Uh, got all the leaves off that I could, pretty much. And got over a stack and a half of saplings again. Uh, most of them seem to have finished growing, but there's still the odd one that just, just won't grow for whatever reason. Not entirely sure. But here it here it is. Let's see if it'll do the whole thing in one shot. That would be awesome. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, there's actually a lot of saplings here still that didn't grow. The axe got destroyed, too, in one shot there. Didn't quite do it all. There's still some, uh, a little bit of wood here that it didn't get. Wow. 
<laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm setting up a, whoa, don't fall down the ravine. Where am I? Here it is. I'm setting up an outdoor fire pit to make charcoal. Uh, instead of trying to run it all back to the base and cook it in that little tiny room I got, uh, this is probably just the better way, since it's a one-time thing. And anyway, I'm going to pile up all these logs, and I'll be right back. Aw, oh, man, it was too much, guys. Way, way too much. I was frantically running back and forth, trying to stack them as quick as I could, and then I saw a whole bunch of them despawn on us. It took over five minutes to build this pile, so we can't do that. Can't do that much in the future, or we can, but then we'll lose a bunch <laughs> again. Um, so this is a pretty big pile. I hope this works. Oh, what do I need? I need some sticks. Let's grab some sticks. Do do do. Very good. Now that we're doing all this steel stuff, I go through charcoal so so quick. So this is great. All right. Oh, I need a I need a pile to put on top too. There we go. All right. Can I reach? Oh, I can't reach. Are you kidding? <laughs> or maybe I can't light it when it's on wood like that. Could be the thing too. Let's try again. Oh, I guess I can't light it on wood. Huh? I thought I could. Oh, this is gonna be tough. All right, I gotta. Stack it all very quickly. Alright, do that one. Oh, it's burning. <laughs> this is one of the most dangerous things in terraforming craft. Lighting the, the firewood pile. Oh, it just caught on fire there. Because it can all go up in flames and usually you catch on fire yourself. And <laughs> it can go bad pretty quick. Alright, cool. I'm going to chop down the rest of this st stubble wood. And I'll... I wonder what we should do next. I think today we we really need to build a vault or something. So maybe that'll be our project for today. Yeah, let's do that because this is getting pretty ridiculous. If you look at our forge building, like as it is right now, we got chests everywhere. <laughs> we have ingots on the floor, stacked up high, counters all full. It's getting really messy in here. We need a spot for this stuff. Uh, we really only need like counters like this though, or shelves to put the ingots on. So it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Here, let's check something too. I don't know, I kind of doubt it, but I don't think iron bars are a thing in this. No. What about iron blocks? No. Hmm. When I think of a bank vault, I think of iron bars. don't think we can mimic that though. There is iron sheets and like other metal sheets too that look like this. Maybe in time, as we get richer, we can line the entire inside of the vault with metal. That would look cool. Um, I was looking around. Maybe we will put it in that hill over there. Just like dig in the side, maybe over there. Have the entrance there and go down a bit. We'll try it out. We'll see how it goes. All right, everybody, so I've been digging out the bank vault here, just in the, the hill, or the mountain, or whatever it is. I'm going to make it go down a little bit, and then I want at least four blocks tall in the room for the for the vault. And feels very secure, doesn't it? Look at these stone walls. Nobody's getting through these. Uh-uh. I'm the only one in my world. <laughs> Why am I trying to lock myself out of my, uh, of my ingots here? I have no clue, but we're going to do it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have cave-in issues with this as I chip away more and more of the blocks. I guess we'll find out. Might need to put, put in a few supports if that happens, though. And I'm converting this to the, the polished stuff because I'm all out of it. I want to start collecting some of it using the chisel here. But uh, anyway, I will be back in a little bit when I finish up. Well, I guess this is going to be our bank vault. It's it's a little plain. It's perfectly square. But we have hit the edge of the hill here, and it's starting to cave in. And yeah, so you can't really make it much bigger. I checked the wiki page. Apparently, there are 21 different types of metal in Terraformacraft. So 
to really do what I want to do, we need all the space just for that, just for the counters. So I was going to basically have a line of stone for the counters all around, like this. And let's see, I'm going to have a beam in the corners though, kind of like that. And that would make it 7 per side, so 7 plus 7 plus 7 is 21, which is exactly the amount we need. Then I'll have a sign in front of each of these that says what type of metal it is. Ingots will go on top, and then probably like up higher we'll have a, a sheet, so you can see what it looks like. Because um, every metal type I think has its own sheet that you can place on walls. And yeah. Maybe later, if we still need more space, I'll make an overflow like vault where we just pile ingots on the ground of all types mixed together. Could be cool. All right, it's moving day. Let's get these ingots out of here. We're going to transfer them over to the vault. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> all right. Now, this is what we got. We got tons of them on, on me right now, so I better not like fall off a cliff or something stupid need to make a path out to this place too. That's one of the reasons I wanted to build it kind of far away though, just so that we build up more more places in our world. If you put everything really close together, there's no reason to make paths and and fences and and that kind of stuff. So I did have to make a couple changes here because otherwise the signs would have uh, interfered with each other. But I got all the metal types listed here. And this is going to help with our collection thing, too. One of my sort of unofficial goals was to try to get a stack of every type of metal. <laughs> and by a stack, I mean 64. I don't know if, if it's going to happen. But it, it, it'll be fun to try to do it anyway. Copper. Oh, that's 32. I think it's 64 per block. Let's see, where's the block? Yeah, that's the top of the block right here. Yeah, 64. Oh, there we go. All right, that's... Oh, how'd that get there? <laughs> get back. All right, let's do the, the little ones first, maybe. So we got black bronze over here. I love how that stuff looks, that deep purple. It's really cool. This is all arranged uh, according to tiers, too. So this is lowest tier to top tier. Uh, blue steel and red steel are the best metals in the game. And nickel. Nickel, nickel, nickel. But not all of these you can make tools out of. Like, even though nickel is like tier 3 or something, you can't actually make tools out of it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, silver. Silver looks a lot like iron. Alright, so we, we do have a little bit of iron too. And what else? We got gold and then bismuth. I noticed my chest piece broke. I might want to make a new one. Gold and bismuth. Where's that? Over here. Oops. <laughs> uh, once I get more andesite too, I'll fix up the walls. Although I, I think we will put uh, the metal sheets all over too. Would be cool. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so that bank vault took a little while to uh, dig out and set up, so I'm guessing our jute is ready. We should check on it. I hope. <laughs> I, I would really like to get two harvests of this in one year. I don't know if that's possible. Oh, I see one of them smaller than the others, though, so maybe it isn't ready yet. It feels like a lot of time has passed, though. Let's see, is it good? No, it's still not good. Are you crazy? <laughs> what is going on? It, oh, I bet it's out of nutrients. Yeah, it is. Darn it. And I have never found fertilizer yet. That's something we could really use. Um, It's almost taller than me now. <laughs> Probably one more stage of growth left to it. Uh, it will finish, even, with, even though it's out of nutrients. It slowly replenishes in the, the dirt on its own. So it'll, it'll just take a little longer, I guess. Here, let's go check out the charcoal pit in here and see what happened with it. Looks like it caved in. That's good. Yeah, it converted. Very good. 
I'm always worried I do it wrong <laughs> and it's not gonna turn into charcoal when I check it. Uh, how much is here? Oh man, look at all this charcoal! Oh, this is this is the best day of my life. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is awesome. Giant mountain of charcoal here. Let's see. Let's, let's just get it all visible so that we can really take in the sight and enjoy it. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> cool. So I'm going to dig this up. I don't even know if my shovel's going to last, honestly. There's a lot here. And I'm going to start doing some metal work pretty soon, too. All right, here we go. Last stack. The shovel survived. Amazing. It's just turning night. So the grand total. Let's just make sure we got everything on the outside. Some of them are jumping out. Oh, I thought I saw one up there. No, okay. Grand total from that pit is... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Four, four and a half stacks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, another option we could do is like go south and chop down a forest or something and just make a giant uh, pit of charcoal. Like if we don't care about the environment. Oh yeah, I replanted too. Let's check this out. I, I decided to try planting rows this time so that we can walk between. Um, because they didn't grow in the cube anyway. Like, I think they were blocking out the sunlight, and then the ones in the middle weren't able to grow. A bunch of the saplings popped out of the ground, too, and we, we just wasted them, basically. So, this is my other pile of wood, too. <laughs> Lots of wood to convert here. Uh, but it goes so quick. Like, this is not going to last long. Uh, but now that we got the, the vault set up, I'm going to have some fun with the whole cleaning up in here. So we got all this nickel, ton of silver here too, and a couple other random things. There's some bismuth, some sphalerite, some more copper, gold. I'm gonna start converting these into ingot form. This is tin here. Uh, and then storing those in the vault. And I don't know why, but I just really enjoy doing that. <laughs> it's like my favorite thing. I don't know, like if, the satisfaction of doing that really can pass through in the video, but like just melting stuff down in the crucible and making ingots, I just I just love it for some reason. It's it's part of the whole collection thing, and now that I got the vault, I'm gonna enjoy it even more, I think. But yeah, let's get this going. Flint and steel's getting some use, and I'm gonna try this again. I put the iron blooms in the one without this thing this time, <laughs> so there's no chance of me melting them, because uh, that's a mistake a lot I made last time, and we lost like 30 ingots, which really stunk. We need the iron to make these iron sheets, and then we need to make three more layers to our blast furnace here to max it out. I think it's 12 sheets per layer, and right now we have seven, and two black steel ingots. All right, yeah, so on its own, let's see. So I'm gonna be doing silver to start off with here and probably nickel, and maybe I'll do bismuth. So there is bismuth ingots. You can't make tools out of them. It has a really low melting point too. This is the temperature gauge here. Most metals like iron, I think is like somewhere up here. Bismuth is all the way down there. <laughs> so it melts really easy, which is cool. Um, let's see what the ingot looks like. I think it was a bluish color. Here, let's make one real quick. Grab our molds. Oh, yeah, that's really blue. Uh-huh. I'm going to use this as storage, too, for all the charcoal. Let's see. i got to make more of these molds now that we have three of these things. Uh, let's put our silver in. Cool, cool. Oh man, things are really working out good now. Here, let's cool this off. I just want to see what the ingot looks like on the ground. Oh, <laughs> it does that weird visual thing sometimes. It like duplicates, but it's not actually there. Oh man. This is one of the coolest metals in real life. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it forms these square crystals 
in really unique patterns. Um, I'm not really big into rocks and metals in real life, but <laughs> it's probably one of the nicest ones I've seen. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some off camera here. Oh man, <laughs> I've been multitasking like a boss here for the last half an hour to an hour. This takes full concentration to do all this at once. It's insane. It's so hard to keep up. Um, I think silver is just about done. I melted down all the ores, so I just have to get it out of the the casting thing here. Gotta always check the charcoal levels. <laughs> Refill those. Gotta keep pumping this thing, because otherwise the nickel doesn't melt. Um, let's see. Oh, that's not... That's not copper. There we go. Oh man. <laughs> gotta keep filling these up with the different uh, ores and then I gotta take the stuff out of the casts when they're done after I uh, organize them and let them cool here and oh man it's just um, crazy all the different things you gotta do. Oh, oh man. Cool, so I'm just finishing up here finally. Uh, processing the iron right now. Do this. And we're going to make a metal sheet out of it. Just like that. Pretty much have most of these things memorized by now. I do them so often. Um, there might be a better way of doing that one, though. I don't know. <laughs> I never try now. Um, so, this place might look a little messy. But, it's all part of cleaning up. So, that's empty. Good. Pretty much processed all of my ores. That's not ore there, that's minerals. Uh, accidentally made two of these nickel things. So the way I do this, by the way, um, if it doesn't fit into an ingot completely, it gets stored in these casts as sort of partial ingots. And then when I go to process those again in the future, I can just put them in and it'll fill in the rest of the way, which is pretty cool. That way I don't have to worry about ratios or making full ingots or anything. It's all very simple now. Uh, pretty much processed everything except for a little bit of nickel here. This stuff takes the longest. Very tough to do because you got to get it really hot. And you only do one or two pieces at a time, so it's just non-stop watching it pretty much. Um, let's see, how many iron sheets do we have now? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Just about two layers on the blast furnace, which is good. So we're going to take all these. Let's see, that's empty. I also processed some of these like teeny little ores that, I've, that you can find on top of the world on the surface. You know, we never planted our fruit trees. <laughs> Uh, we might have to do that next episode. This one's getting pretty long already. Um, but yeah, look at all this nickel, man. Ooh, it's awesome. Should last for quite a while. And that's empty. That's empty. I think that's pretty much everything, right? Yeah, that one's good. Just double checking these chests. Sometimes I drop stuff off and forget about them. So, let's pick all this up. That's the bismuth over here. This is tin. It's got a nice bluish tint to it. I like it. Um, do these stack? Yeah, they do. Good. What is that? Oh, that was iron. Got a little bit of gold. I think this is tin as well over here. Or no, that's zinc. That's zinc. Oh, and this is silver. So we'll head on down to the vault. <laughs> These counters are only meant for temporary use, right? So that's that's exactly how it's working now. Um, haven't been outside in, in days in TerraFarmacraft. I see my trees have grown again. It's like the world has changed. I've been inside so long. If I had, if I could grow facial hair, hair in this game, I would have a giant beard right now. So I've been inside so long processing the metal. All right, very cool. Bismuth. 
Oh, it's so amazing. <laughs> I don't know why I find this so fun. It just is to me. I love collecting things like this. And then when you can actually see it after you collect it, it just makes it all that much better. Alright, where's the gold? Over here. And silver. The silver pile is going to get crazy huge. But then there's also alloys that we can make from this. So like some of the silver is going to go into other stacks. Oh. Yes, we got to get up on counter to do this. <laughs> oh man, there's... Oops, there's over 32 more. Wow, that's a ton of silver. I might have the most of this, actually. Like, out of everything. Although, copper... No, I probably have more copper. Nickel is very valuable, and I got a lot of this, which is great. Oh, yeah. I think it was three of these per uh, 20 black steel, so this will go for a long ways. And... Zinc. Really white. Like, almost pure white. And finally, the copper. <laughs> yeah, the copper stack is probably the biggest. But that's probably going to do it for today's episode. I spent a lot of time on this. I don't know <laughs> if it really shows, but... Oh, man. Making the metal was crazy. How... How tall is this? It's one short of the top of the block. This one is... Oh, I think it's... Oh, it is at the very top, pretty much. Yeah, that's like two stacks of silver there. So we have the most silver out of anything right now. Uh-huh. Cool, cool. So as I get ores now, I'm going to try always process them and put them in our storage here. That way they don't pile up and mess up our our forge room and things get all ugly looking. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Little baby zombie. Ah! <laughs> one final look at the vaults before it caves in on us. Ah!